Kia ora, welcome to the 14th of August 2022, Sunday. Overcast, gonna get rain today, thunder showers, all that good stuff. Kia ora, well, taking the dog for a walk. Um, get mine two and one this morning. <laughs> so there may be some uh, distractions, and I apologise for that. Um, Alright, so momentum continues. Carrying on from yesterday. Kira, come on. It's just full of all the different scents and things like that that are going on at the moment. So she just, she loves it. We have a lab, Labrador, in case you weren't aware. Getting on in years now, poor girl, but she's still full of energy. Great dogs. Um, all right, so, um, ramble for the morning. <clears throat> so, so there's a few things. Um, we think we've got the water situation sorted out. Power is, for now at least, sorted out. Um, septic or temporary septic and composting toilets are sorted out. Um, we've got to do some work on the RV just to get that back into into uh, um, travel mode again, I guess. Kirsten's been living in it for, for a while, so uh, yeah, needs needs some work. Um, so that's on the on, on the market for the next thing that has to happen. Um, need to get that roadworthy for uh, for the roughly six-hour drive down. Um, and it's really not going to go anywhere after that. So well. We'll uh, see how that uh, pans out for a couple of years anyway. Um, we went and visited some cabin places and got prices and stuff on that. So that's all sorted out. Um, really, from a financial outgoing perspective, uh, we've got a couple of large ticket items. The, the solar array, um, as I said, maintenance on the RV is probably going to be a little bit of work. And um, Kira, come on. Gonna be a little bit of work, and um, you know, there, there's there's going to be other stuff as well. So, you know, we've, we've we've plonked a good chunk of cash down on the excavation, and um, unfortunately, that uh, you know, the rest of our savings is pretty much going to is already allocated. But anyway, all of this is secondary. The other phases that we need to think about, and start considering um, when we get down there, are uh, gardens. The soil type that we have is uh, probably best described as a silty loam. Um, it's chert, I think I may have mentioned that, um, which is, uh, uh, it's, it's pretty much fossilised things from day, days when dinosaurs were on the earth or even before, probably before. And there must have been some inland seas or something basically kind of covering the, the various areas. Things are a little lower. Um, certainly a lot uh, wetter but anyway bottom line is it's it's uh, silicates um, which predicate the possibility of other things as well but you know really I'm not a mineral mineralogist I'm not going to go out and uh, poke around for different types of minerals um, just on the off chance that there may be something interesting there um, and yes we do have mineral rights um, however so uh, Gardens, so silty loam in the soil that we have um, has great drainage characteristics, <laughs> um, but oh, and great for growing things in. But we've already done some tests on the soil, and uh, like a lot of the western western parts of the country of of, of the state, I should say, um, and parts of the country, there's a lot of limestone and stuff. So. Our soil type is, is more towards the alkaline, which is great for growing certain types of crops. Um, but if we want to grow things like tomatoes and you know the, the more acidic vegetables um, and or fruits as well, um, different types of fruits, um, then we're going to need to keep all that under control. Um, so yeah, so we have previously 
gone with raised bed gardens, straw, straw bale gardens, which have worked very well for us here in Ohio. We haven't really worried too much about soil phenotypes or anything like that. But, um, and well, we, we could easily do that again because you can actually control, you know, what's in your straw bales in terms of uh, pH chemistry quite easily. Um, we're looking at something a little more, a little more permanent. So we are basically going to become chemists, I guess, to a degree. We're going to have to, for our vegetable gardens and things at least. Kira, come on. Good girl. Lots of smells. She's very excited. Um, we're going to have to, um, you know, be a little more... Um, on, on top of things, I guess, is the best way to put it this time around. Um, Dawn and I were chatting last night. Um, we're, we're looking at raised beds um, for reasons. Um, and comp composting is a thing. Kira, come on. I just found something in one of the, one of the brushes. Patches of brush, I think. Um, so yeah, composting is definitely on our radar. Um, we're lucky in that we've got a good chunk of oak um, and we've felled a good chunk of oak. Uh, we've got plenty of oak and we've got plenty of hickory and stuff, but oak in particular. Um, oak leaves are full of tannins, acidic. So great to add to that, that type of compost um, or as mulch to bring down the alkalinity of the soil. Um, we have, as I said, silty loam, so it has high drainage characteristics. Um, all the rocks and stuff and the minerals are basically great because that, that provides, you know, nutrients and things. But the, the, um, and the rocks are not like rock rocks, you know, like solid boulders. Um, they're easily manageable. Um, and the silty loam is great for plants. It doesn't, doesn't stress the root systems. Um. You know, clay. You know, they have to work hard to break break through. And sand or sandy soil is is a whole different whole different whim whim can. So yeah, we, we kind of got the best of both both worlds, I guess. Um, where was I going with this? So yeah, so we, when we put our beds together, uh, raised beds together, there's going to be a bit of work with straw and uh, various materials that we're just going to have to work out over time. It's not going to happen straight away. Um, this is just going to have to be a kind of a season by season thing. Um, we have winter coming up. Um, we're going to be spending winter down there. So obviously there's not going to be a lot of plant growth going on. So I guess where I'm going with this is that once we're established, um, we're probably going to want to consider and probably do um, lay our raised beds out for next year and get started on the process of... Um, mulching, composting, um, continually measuring and um, building those those beds up over winter um, and then we just have to see how we go come spring uh, what we're kind of looking at in terms of viability for, for growth. Um, you can certainly make it you know viable and count and bring dump a whole bunch of, you know, topsoil in or whatever. But the reality of things today, such that there's a lot of contaminated soil being sold. Um, and honestly, part of the, the charm of doing this is um, kind of doing it um, where we can at least, doing it ourselves and um, learning relearning so a lot of this stuff is old knowledge right relearning ways to to basically manage this ongoing um, and then just kind of grow this out um, so yeah so gardens is basically where I'm at at the moment gardens and gardening 
which will lead to canning and other things in, in time. But for now, gardens and gardening. Um, and uh, you know, as we introduce the chickens and the ducks um, and start bringing more livestock on over time, you know, we'll have access to a lot, lot more manure and um, all that good stuff. Um, and the, the you know, chickens will get a scratch through the compost piles and all, all, all those weird things. Um, Eggshells for calcium and blah, 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 blah. Epsom salts for magnesium. Nice and easy, quick trick there. Cheap too. Um, so yeah, that is, that is where we are there. Um, and I'll go into that in, in more detail. As I said, I want to try and change uh, some of these, these posts. Um, and I'm not quite sure how yet, because this is all still very new doing this. Um, to go through some more of the, the theory and the design and um, research and references and stuff like that. So um, rather than talking about it and rambling about it in the mornings and people going like, bah, um, I've actually got something a little more show and tell and demonstrable and that makes a better record hopefully for people to look at and maybe point out any mistakes that I may have made if, if you're that way inclined on offer some other thoughts and suggestions and then when we actually do it um, we'll see how it turns out in reality <clears throat> far cry from doodles on pieces of paper that's for sure so yeah um, gardening this will probably be occupy my train of thought for a little while so you may get some more rambles on this they may be tomorrow I don't know we'll see how it goes um, but these are just some of the things that I'm now starting to occupy chunks of my brain. Um, and um, once we get that a little more focused and settled, then uh, we will uh, cement those, so to speak, in a little more detail. Alrighty, the rain is starting to plonk down. Black clouds in the sky. Yeah, I'm gonna go and have a cup of coffee. Hollow coffee from Hollow Roast. Shameless plug of the day. Excellent coffee. Nicole makes excellent coffee. So you should go and buy some. You can look it up. Search for Hollow Roast online. Alright, Kia ora, take care. Have a great day. Chat tomorrow. Bye.